Get ready to make an apple baker. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 10 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you're going to learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze an apple baker. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the apple baker, which are also down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and are items I use on a daily basis. I'm starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems with centering your clay, you can check out my video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have a pound and a half of Amico Stoneware 46 Buff Clay. Make sure the clay is wet while pressing it down to the size you want the base of your bowl to be. As you can see, I'm opening the clay away from the center. Make sure you have enough clay in the center for your post. You can always cut off any extra clay. You want to start the post first because the sides of the bowl can get in the way. Cone up the post, then make sure you compress the base of your post and bowl. Use your needle tool to check the thickness. You want to leave at least a third of an inch of clay on the bottom of your bowl. When you have the base of your post set, you can start to bring up the sides of your bowl to get an idea of how tall you want your post to be. While bringing up the sides of your bowl, make sure your clay is wet and rest your thumb against your anchor hand to keep the consistency of the clay even throughout. Once you have the desired height of your bowl, you can cut off any extra clay on your post with the needle tool. Keep your needle tool steady as you trim off the top. You want the post to be tall enough and thin enough to hold the apple. A little more clay needs to come off. When you get the desired height and width, smooth out the post and compress the top. I'm bringing the sides of the bowl up and out just a bit more. Don't forget to compress the bottom and the rim. I'm smoothing out and compressing the sides of the bowl with the soft red rib then getting rid of any extra water and making a nice foot with the ultimate edger. After the apple baker is bone dry, into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque firing at cone 04. After the bisque fire, wipe off any dust with a clean damp sponge. 
This helps to ensure the glaze will bond nicely to your piece. Apply wax resist so any glaze on the bottom wipes right off. I've skipped this part before thinking it would save me time. I ended up spending more time trying to get the glaze off the bottom. After the wash and wax it's time to glaze. I'm applying Amico Weeping Plum to the apple baker with a large hack brush. Mix your glaze well before applying. I always put the glaze through a strainer. This catches any clumps or debris that may be lurking in the glaze. If you're new to glazing, you can check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link in the description below. After letting the first coat dry, Apply the second coat of Weeping Plum. You want to make sure that you have a good amount of glaze on your brush so the glaze can float onto the apple baker. After the second coat is dry, apply a third and final coat of Weeping Plum and let dry. I'm dipping the apple baker in Spectrum Kimchi two-thirds of the way down. As you can see, this can get tricky sometimes. Put the remainder of the glaze in a small bowl and dip the post. Let it dry and into my scut kiln it goes for a final firing at cone 5. Here's the finished apple baker. Looks like the weeping plum and the kimchi worked well together. No cracks, nice and smooth rim. All in all, I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? If you have any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos, feel free to post those in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own apple baker. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.